all right today let's learn about security feature that is web application firewall we can find it here if you have uh, like used it or also we can write web application firewall and we can browse it so let's click on it so this is how it uh, uh, looks next we'll be creating everything from the scratch let's click on create web application firewall we know web application firewall is specially used to prevent activities like cross-site scripting or SQL injection those kind of things let's click on create we'll check everything from the scratch and do everything just like a simple beginner so here uh, the basic definition is already there that is malicious attacks like SQL injection cross-site scripting OWASP so the basic things are already there in the definition as well which I mentioned so let's select uh, there are basically uh, two types regional and global globe uh, will go for the global one as the name suggests global WAF also known as front door let's select next we have the front door tier that is there are in in a nutshell we can classify into like premium will contain everything all the features classic on the other hand like has uh, some custom rules uh, which is like this one so uh, we'll select classic for this one because uh, the more feature we select the more we end up uh, paying as well for utilizing those features so currently we need classic for this demo look, looks good next let's select one resource group next we need to uh, give a policy name let's give it like cloud guru amit waf we can name it anything next there is a policy mode right so one is prevention and one is detection so uh, as the name suggests prevention will prevent detection will only detect uh, though we can uh, switch or toggle between this policy mode anytime after even after the creation of this web policy which will be i'll be showing after this is uh, done as well so for now this uh, let's go with the prevention one right prevention means to prevent it's kind of like uh, just think like a person is having a fever it will uh, give some medicines to like prevent let's say the body temperature is 102 fahrenheit it will prevent detection is like a just the thermometer thing it will detect 102 fahrenheit but it prevent, won't prevent anything prevention will is kind of like medicines to lower the body temperature or uh, maintain the body temperature that's that kind of thing right to prevent those things so i hope you got the concept of uh, this two policy mode now uh, let's go back to next manage rules where we'll be uh, seeing uh, tens of option so here we can see there are tons of rules already created right so we can enable as much as we can or like even we can like select the rule id then select disable if you select disable it's all are red uh, then uh, then we can search anything like let's say cross site scripting or something xss or something so in xss there are again tons of options and uh, rules created so I'll uh, randomly uh, select some things cross for cross site scripting. Let's say I've selected uh, this. Then for uh, SQL injection, let's select uh, some of these to test the feature. Like let's say maybe this one, this one. Randomly I'm selecting uh, something. Uh, make sure uh, to click on enable, right? Uh, if we don't enable, it will just vanish just like the previous cross site scripting one. If I select enable, see it's green again for XSS cross site scripting. Let's uh, do the same for some of the randomly selected rules just for showing this demo. I have enabled a few of them to demonstrate this feature. So you can uh, check these uh, ready made things which are already there. Next, let's go to the policy settings here block response body. Like it will, uh, let's write block SQL injection and cross-site scripting xss this looks good we can also additionally mention redirect url if any that is not quite next uh, comes the important feature like custom rules where we can define our uh, some additional rules if i click on add custom rule here next we need to write like cloud waf custom give one uh, name here we have kind of like if then else condition condition is geolocation uh, this kind of thing there are also ip address sizing uh, we can block as per the requirement uh, next we have uh, let's select a remote uh, address here is the operation we can block by the country as well let's uh, give it like if it is india uh, it will block why it will block because if we check here operation is is then country india then deny traffic 
we can also do the reverse if it is india we can allow traffic as well uh, there are other options as well but generally we know like waf, waf uh, is generally used for denying traffic yeah we use it so let's uh, go ahead with uh, deny one let's uh, click on add the okay we need to assign priority let's assign one priority as like uh, let's say one let's add it uh, next is the uh, association and all let's these are actually not required uh, much we can add association then uh, tags we can key value pairs uh, like we can mention uh, dev environment or something uh, those kind of thing we can mention but uh, we are good for now we'll uh, click on review and create it will uh, going back to the validation as passed this looks good now let's click on create all right our deployment is in progress it takes a few seconds to deploy okay our deployment is succeeded we got uh, the message as well uh, so here let's uh, go to the uh, resource as well so if i open our resource as mentioned i can anytime switch between prevention mode and detection mode if you remember i have selected prevention mode now we can also switch the mode see it instantly switched to different uh, mode that is detection currently it's uh, detection mode we can also switch to prevention mode anytime also we can disable uh, this uh, waf and all any anytime as per our requirement so i hope you found this tutorial for uh, waf useful thank you so much for watching this video